Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the unboxing of Mango Mini Smart Router. Um, this is basically, you can read it, it's not a, it's a, it can act as a Wi-Fi router, but can also be a, it has four modes. It has cable, um, basically a router mode, repeater mode, and a tethering mode. Um, it's good to use in hotels, various other places like that. Hotels, cafes, oh, there we go, right in the back. Conference rooms, if you want everyone to work off the same network. It's great for network sharing, if you require stuff like that. Uh, hotels or cafes. Obviously, you can set up your own pass point, waypoint. Um, has some directions, connect to it, password, and stuff like that. But these are different methods. You can connect, cable, repeater, tethering. You can also use it as an access point. All right, and it's pretty small, size of my hand. Basically, it can fit in your hand, fit in your pocket. Um, you can use it, VPN, you VPN with it. Uh, 300 megabit, uh, it's up to 300 megabit speed. Obviously, you might not get that, especially if your connection's not that fast. Um, and yeah, it's compact. But uh, it's the GLI net. GL, who doesn't want to focus here? It's the GLI net GL MTN 300N version 2. It comes in this nice plastic. I got it off of Amazon um, for $20.50-ish, um, which is a really good price for, I feel like, something like this. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Secure, there we go. Secure personal privacy. I'll be the judge of that. Open it up. I'm not expecting much, but let's see. So, uh, there... Sticking with the Mango theme, we have the GLI net instructions with setting up, powering on, connecting via Wi-Fi, setting up the router, wireless settings. Um, it has you know a bunch of different directions. Internet settings, if you want to use it as a as a basically an access point mode. Um, different protocol products you can set up. A Wi-Fi repeater, which is what I intend. I intend on using it as a um, when I'm traveling hotel um, Ethernet cord to my own network, as well as a Wi-Fi repeater if I'm in like a cafe or an airport or something like that. Um, you can also tether your phone to it. So if you have a hotspot and you don't want to use the hotspot, you can just send it to this. But if you have a hotspot on your phone, you might as well use it. We can see back here. We got support, lights, warranty, one year warranty for routers and three year limited warranty for accessories and instead of the rest is in Chinese. But this is a, uh, if you're expecting Chinese instructions, these are normal instructions. This is a legit, um, could be made in China, I don't know, but uh, it's, it is made in China. But this is a very, this is, you know, one of the well put together. This is a real, this is a real deal. Uh, what you get, I feel like there should be like an ethernet cord in here. Oh, all right. So, the Ethernet cord that was supposed to be in here was in here. So you get a—they give you an Ethernet cord. Amazingly enough, I don't need it because I got one, but it's, it's pretty small. Um, you also get rubber banded USB C, which uh, no, it's a micro USB. Just kidding. It's a micro USB. Look at that. Um, as you can see, there we go. So that's what you get. Your micro USB charger, pretty thick wire, thick gauge. I like it. Um, so this device is not battery powered. It has to be, um, powered 20 power whatever you want. And this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. It's really light. Probably only not just a few ounces. So. So this is it. You can see we got a USB. Uh, that's for charge. That is for that's not for charging. That's for tethering. Reset button. Power switch. Mini fan. We have three status lights. Another fan. Back side you have input and output WAN LAN ports as well as the input for the power. And on the bottom you have all the important information such as. Um, well, you can see there's the model number, the input. Uh, the standard 
IP address. Um, SSID, key, MAC address for this, serial number, DDNS, and FCC ID. And so there's the FCC ID of the device, 300 MB2, made in China. And if you want to look at it, here is the size, what it looks like in the palm of my hand. I don't have, I have pretty normal size hands. Um, there's that, that's what it looks like. Anyway, put that back in. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions, just ask. I'm going to test it out right now. And if you have any questions, just ask.